Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Pantervision, and I saw a really interesting technique, uh, you know, with the pen tool, how you can do letters with the pen tool in a different way. Uh, usually, you know, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, and I just saw a way from, from you know, a, an interesting approach from designers. And uh, yeah, I want to show you that stuff. So let's jump in. Make sure in the stroke, so right now it's on the stroke. You can see this is the stroke. This is the fill. If you know if you have some colors going on in the fill, just press on this on the none. Then click on the stroke, so it's gonna be on top, and select the color. I'm gonna go with the dark color. So if you got a sketch going on which you would like to redesign and uh, make it in vectors with pen tool, go ahead. And so the main idea is, uh, they didn't bend, you know, like this. You know, just drawing and stuff like this. No, no, no. So they did a different approach. So basically these are, uh, here it needs to be the anchor points, okay? But they don't bend it. They just click like this, like that. And basically where the anchor points need to go. And uh, after that I'm going to show you. But first I'm going to position the points in here. And of course, make sure you don't put too much anchor points. So for the anchor points, there's a specific place you need to place them. So if we're talking about curvatures, you know, rounded things like here in my case, then it's very important for you to understand that a circle has like four anchor points. All right. And uh, you need to operate the same way as a circle in these in these uh, occasions. I think I gotta put it, put one here and another one here, and there you go. So let me explain the circle stuff. Okay, I got a long press, press here, select the ellipse tool, create a circle. As you can see, we got uh, four anchor points. One is here, another one is here, another one is here, and then here. So there's like not, it, it's not filled with a dozen, a dozen of anchor points. So. It goes like this. And you need to do the same way with, uh, you know, something circular. As you can see here, this thing is bending. I'm going to put an anchor point here, here, and down there. And same way I did it with this. So I'm going to lock this, you know, the image. You just select the direct selection tool. Let me show it's right located right here, the direct selection tool. Uh, select the anchor points and go here to this. Convert selected anchor points to smooth. So this thing is going to make it uh, smooth. I'm going to convert every anchor point. Right now it looks bad, but uh, you know, I'm going to select them separately. I'm going to long press Alt and you know, you can modify the handles, you know, how, however you like. So as you can see here, I just made it curvy, you know, uh, it's the same, th it's the same thing. It, it, this one has the anchor points here. And I also put an anchor point here because it's a uh, bending and it's getting rounded. So, uh, it shouldn't be that complicated. You know, if you find yourself adding too much anchor points, then that's incorrect. You need to undo that and, uh, make something about it. Or let's say if you have like too many anchor points, let's say I don't like this one, I'm going to go and uh, select the pen tool, go to the pen tool, select the pen tool and just click on the anchor point. Of course, it's going to show the minus. That means you basically want to remove the anchor points. And voila, it should look something like this. Uh, I won't finish this one because uh, I already had uh, made multiple versions. But yeah, you just uh, adjust it until until you're satisfied with the results. And uh, yeah, it's re it's way more simple with less anchor points rather than having a bunch of anchor points. You don't know what you're doing and it's just getting more complex. So yeah. Anyways, this is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and check out also the other videos as well. So have a good one. Bye bye.